Well, hello and welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Now, you may have heard about the new At Games Legends Arcade system that's set to be revealed at this year's E3. It's supposed to have uh, 350 games, include two joysticks, six buttons, two spinners, a trackball. It will also include internet capability and be upgradable. This got me wondering, while Tastemasters, the makers of Arcade 1UP, have kind of created this whole craze of mini arcade systems, they could quickly be left in the dust by competitors. So here's a couple of ideas that I had that I think they should do in order to stay ahead of the game. But before we get into it, please remember to hit that like button at the end of the video. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, please click the subscribe button. Thank you. Round one, fight. All right, so first of all, it's pretty clear that they need better quality controls. You know, the joysticks, the spinners, the trackballs. Many owners have said that the buttons and the joysticks that are provided are not very durable or responsive. Upgrading to higher quality Sanwa sticks is not really that expensive, and these arcade one-up systems should start using those. Another thing is that these games are locked in. There's no settings that can be changed. That's a little loud. You know, in a true arcade cabinet, the owner can get into the menus and make whatever changes that they need. Why can't we do that with these cabinets? Emulators on a Pi or a PC, they can be changed to the user's liking. And frankly, I think the arcade one-up cabinets should be the same. <laughs> All right, how about this one? A lit marquee. I mean, sure, the standard marquee is a lot cheaper to include. The lights add to the price, and you know it's probably more fragile to have in the box and all that stuff. But having a lit marquee really makes the system stand out as a showpiece for your collection. And without it, it frankly looks kind of drab. So yeah, I think I think they should start including lit marquees with all their systems. All right, now this is a big one. They need more than just a couple of games per cabinet. I mean, the new At Games cabinet is said to have 350 games. We're not sure how many of those are gonna be A-list titles, but I mean, there's, there's no reason why Tastemasters can't include a few more games in their cabinets. I mean, sure, there's licensing that's required to have the games in there, but imagine three cabinets with 20 games rather than, you know, eight cabinets with three games apiece. I mean, that makes the cabinets way more attractive to consumers and, you know, they might even be able to charge a little bit more. So yeah, they need more games per cabinet. <laughs> and speaking of the price, well, you know, these cabinets are a bit expensive for what you get. I mean, $300 for a Pac-Man machine, uh, it's kind of difficult to justify when you can get another cabinet just like it for the same price that has maybe six games or 12 games in it. And I have a few friends who have actually balked at that $300 price and said that, you know, if it was 200, they might actually get it. So I think the price on the systems, they may want to consider adjusting it just a little bit. <laughs> Now here's a cool idea I came up with, and that is to have swappable control decks. I mean, imagine if Tastemasters could sell a control deck with the joysticks and the, or the trackball or the spinner or whatever, and include those games with that control deck. You know, you could swap out the control deck however you want. The Tastemasters folks could sell these separately, you know, like maybe 50 bucks or 100 bucks a piece. I think that would reduce their costs and give their customers more flexibility with their cabinets. <laughs> Now these last ones are kind of borrowed from the AT games system. I thought it was a really cool idea that they had internet capability in there and that they could be upgraded. How nice would it be to be able to upgrade your system online or to be able to play with friends online or to be able to buy new games online? I mean, this sounds like such a great idea. It's a no brainer. Come on, Tastemasters, get some internet capability in these systems. <laughs> Well, there you have it. There's some of my ideas that Tastemasters should include for future arcade one-up cabinets. But what are your ideas? What, what have you thought of while owning one of these systems that you wished that Tastemasters would include for the arcade one-up cabinets? Let me know your ideas in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Oh, hey.